everybody, and welcome to The Alchemist Path, April 2020 Palletful Packs Premiere Unboxing. I'm going to go ahead and give this an open. And let's see what we got inside. So it looks like we have some metallic paint. Oh, what we got here? all wedged in here. Um, Lumiere. Nine gorgeous metallic and pearlescent colors. And this is kind of paint. Apply with brush, airbrush, stamp, or, and sponge. Apply on natural and synthetic fibers, leather, wood, canvas, clay, and paper. Okay. Set that aside. And then, of course, this jumped out at me. A uh, little black canvas. A 3x3 three three mini canvas. A uh, little canvas board. This one is four by five. I actually like to do palette knife painting on those boards. You get a little black mixed media paper. 400 series Strathmore, 15 sheets. rather smooth. Uh, looks like there's um, no tooth to it. Smooth paper. And then um, bullet shaped black. It says it's a Mitsubishi pencil company item. Uni Pasca. Bullet shaped. I imagine it's got to be like a paint pen. And then we get a brush. Robert Simmons Expression 12. And then some additional paints. Light body opaque acrylic. So those must be acrylics and black and white. And then another one of these pens. So they had mentioned that they emailed the little card that normally accompanies the box. And I didn't look at it because I wanted this to be a surprise. So I'm not vocalizing right now the MSRPs of these items, but um, Strathmore is a very, very good paper. And these, um, this is a pretty nice uh, full set of pearlescent and metallic. And, and now it's clear to me, acrylic. Um, black and white. Brush. And these have got to be uh, a paint pen of some sort. Uh, I'm not familiar with these pens. But I'm going to go ahead and open the white one. And with the black paper, you should be able to do like a chiaroscuro. So yeah, it's clearly it's got to be like a paint pen. So you probably have to start the pen, um, usually by pushing down on something. Um, I'll use up here and push down, try to get a flow going on it because it's a new pen. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and do a, another <laughs> crystal sketch. Oh, wow, this has a really nice fine line to it. 
This is a joy to uh, work with, actually. I'll try to beef up the lines a bit here, too. And it looks like one um, one single activation of it. It it seems to the ink, paint, what have you. Imagine it's paint. Um, seems to flow um, continuously with it. It's quite nice, actually. So uh, this is great. I like this. Um, I'd be excited to try some of these other colors. There's some inclusions in my uh, crystal here, so I'm just kind of sketching some in. Yeah, I like this pen. It's a nice pen. I like it. Now, I wonder how well the black would do on black. I bet it, it would probably give a rich, rich tone. And just as I'd done before, I'm gonna activate the tip by giving it some push throughs. So I can get something flowing in there. And shake it. Might need to get that paint to flow down giving it some, hopefully it's not dried out. Not starting to come down. There we go. Now we got it. Okay. I'm just curious on black, what sort of uh, effect I can get. Actually, I, I like that. Um, I don't know as it dries if it's gonna, it might blend in more with the paper, but um, it does some pretty nice things. And then of course, these paints, which I gotta be really careful not to get this on my tablecloth. But luckily, um, actually, the way they have this, it pops open, you can almost put your paints right back inside. So it's not one where you have to cut around the edge. It just pop open because of the little uh, connector here. So I'm gonna pull out, um, I think I'll do like an ice blue. So I'm gonna pull out this uh, pearlescent turquoise. I'm gonna give it a shake. Do my very best not to get this on anything. But um, I'm actually gonna uh, apply this directly because I don't wanna mess the area. I'm gonna apply this directly to the paper. Actually, I should have shaken it first. This is a shake first. Okay. And apply it directly to the paper in the tiniest little spot, like that. I'm going to take it now, I'm just going to work it onto the, on here. See what kind of an effect I can get. Wow, that is really cool. I'm just going to apply it directly to the brush. And brush it on and I'm gonna go over the whole thing and see how that layers out oh yeah this is really cool
And then actually I'm going to get a, another color because as a real crystal would be, it would have kind of rainbows throughout. So I'm going to actually go grab another color now. And for this one, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go with the, the pink gold. All right, so I'm going to shake this up. And then I'm going to apply it. I like actually applying it to my brush first. And then, okay, so this is not what I had in mind for um, my crystal. But um, I'm gonna, so what I'll do is I'm just going to work some in through here. Now, this has an interesting effect, okay? If you look, this is direct on the black. It made a gold. And when I put the rose on the blue, it kept a truer color. Okay. So... Actually, a uh, quick way for me to fix this is just I'm going to, um, because I, I don't want the warm color with this per se, I'm just going to go back through and apply some of the rose over some of this here. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to apply the blue back over the top, I'll try to work some of that through. And then I'll just keep playing with the colors like that. But this is this is entertaining. This is fun. I like this. So let's see. Just put it on the pen or on the brush like so. Work it back through. Until I get another color. I'm gonna grab another color over it like tone down the gold at least it's just it's it's interesting how directly over the black that rose the gold just really came out of that rose gold ah and then um I know exactly what I'm gonna do so then uh, I'm going to set the brush aside I'm going to go back to my pen here and just kind of, and I did not have to reflow the paint. It retained Look at that. I just go back and redefine some of this to get my crystal back. Okay. So there I have it. There's my little crystal and, um, it was playing with a couple of the paints, um, the two pens, and the mixed media black paper, kind of almost doing a chiaroscuro. But there you go. There's my my crystal. One thing I would like to do is tone down some of this gold up top, though. So let me offset that gold with a little more of the teal. It's a little, just a little too golden for. Um, my quartz. If it was a citrine, it would be on point. But it's not citrine. Okay. Oh, one thing I would like to make mention that is inside the acrylic paint set, if you open up the insert, there's additional information. Um, it gives you also all the colors that they make and it, apparently it's in 33 colors and it's light bodied metallic and pearlescent paints acrylic paints designed to last without cracking or peeling and then they give you um, a couple projects one of which is uh, painting on an umbrella you can fix the color with an iron and um, you can paint on velvet paper mache gourds and tile so this is just a really fun acrylic set.
there we have it. So that's the April 2020 Palletful Packs premiere unboxing. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe if you would like to be notified, and ring the bell if you'd like to be notified of future Palletful Packs unboxings. Until then, take care, and I will see you next month.